what other things can you think of with the people part of project management? Well, I mean, I've actually been thinking about um, a couple of things, and and we could probably also revisit the revisit this also when we talk about pair programming. But kind of, what do you think about the uh, so called ten x developer, the developer that codes ten times faster than other developers and whatnot? Um. Well, first of all, I think that's kind of a myth. <laughs> to, to be honest, um, I, I what I think is those people end up coding not necessarily 10 times faster, but two times faster and five times longer. And they end up burning themselves because they're just working too much. I, I think it's important. As important as it is to understand the people on your team, you also need to understand yourself and what you need. What do you mean two times faster, five times longer? They may be a faster coder, but they're not that much faster, but they get all this stuff done because they are always coding. I've known people like that, that are like, they get up at six o'clock in the morning, they start coding, they grab a sandwich for lunch and, and code through lunch. <laughs> they go to bed at 11 o'clock, they sleep for three or four hours, and then they get back up and do it again. And they're just constantly doing it. Now, you can do that for a couple of days, you know, hey, there's a big project that's got to happen. It's high, high pressure, high priority. Lots of people's jobs are riding on it. We just got to, you know, beat through it for for two days. That's fine. But these are these are people that will do this for months or years. And that's just their lifestyle. And I, I think that's dangerous for a person. Um. You mean to only focus on that? Yeah, you got to take a break. You can't. And by ten always... x, I, I don't necessarily mean they spend ten ten times more time, but I basically mean their efficiency at producing working code. Yeah, well, I mean, there, a I think a lot of that has to do with experience. When I started coding, it would take me forever to fix simple bugs. Now. I can fix really complex problems because I've got enough experience to know where to look for it, how to reproduce it, how to trace through it faster to figure out where the issue is, what potential things could be the issue. And that's, you know, 20 whatever years of coding experience. So I think that's a has a lot to do with it. Now, I mean, having programming chops is important too. You know, you got to have a logical mind. You got to know how to to develop things, you got to understand object oriented programming, functional programming, all the programming methodologies and stuff. <clears throat> so, I, you know, seeing somebody like that come green out of college, I think would almost be an impossibility because I think that has more to do with experience than intelligence. Okay. And I, I was just curious, yeah, because that's something that I think I thought about periodically. So, also, I will say that fast is not does not equate to good. Quality is not yeah, necessarily not always, a fast thing. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I mean the hmm the. I think your speed of programming just increases with experience and having an experienced mentor, I think goes a long way to get you there faster. Um, so uh, that kind of brings me to the one opinion thing that I wanted to, to bring up tonight. Good segue. And that is pair programming is just something you need to do. Not all the time. It's not always appropriate. But if you haven't tried pair programming, I would highly recommend you spend some time trying pair programming. That doesn't mean sit down with your buddy for eight hours a day every day. 
That means take an hour or two and work on a bug together or a feature together or, you know, it, whatever. But spend some time pair programming with somebody else and see if it doesn't, at the very least, make you a better programmer. I have never been in a situation where pair programming ended up being a bad thing. So. If you like this clip and want to watch another one, you can click right here. Or if you want to watch the full video, you can click here.